security concept which is called as token validation it can be done two ways first is by using the same key for signing and verification this is called as symmetric encryption and second is you use different key to sign and validate which is called as asymmetric encryption so uh, let's uh, let's try to look at that so i'll go to jart now in my previous tutorials i already told you about that jart is java uh, json web token so what it has it has a header then it has the payload and then it has the signature this is separated by dots you see the red color here matches here then this the payload which is basically we are interested in encrypting or um, uh, encoding this thing right encoding this body so uh, first let's try to understand what uh, it means when you have the same key which is also called as symmetric encryption so when you sign this uh, the user would get this um, like this encoded stuff and they don't know so there are two ways let me also tell you first the use case then i'll tell you more about this encryption technique so let's go back here so what happens is that user would present a token right so he has this jwt token and then this is your service now behind the service this is your api which you need to secure this is your data so here he presents he say hey i am prem asim jain you have to validate if it is true then you would uh, have to there is a person or the oauth server this is the oauth server which has issued the token the issuer so you could do the local validation here or you would go to the person who has issued the token and then you would figure out hey i got a token he wants to access my api endpoint he is saying that he is prem asim jain but is he really a prem asim jain or does his token is still valid or it got expired so then what happens that doing a local validation needs a secret or the key because this thing uh, is encrypted like this thing basically it's signed this the signature part which i'll just tell you in a bit so uh, if this guy has that uh, key basically available he could do the validation locally and then he can allow the person or he can just deny the request if the token is not valid so to do that there are essentially two one is synchronous and uh, symmetric and one is asymmetric now in symmetric let's take a uh, look at that so i have something let's say my secret so this is what is my um, uh, basically secret so whenever i get the token this signature is verified this is the payload now you see here hs256 this is the algorithm by which the encryption is done so hs says that the signature key by which someone has signed once once who validates he should have the same key so what we going to do right now is i have this so this is my uh, this is my token now i created this token and i have sent it here and uh, as soon as this guy goes here and then he said this signature is invalid why because the key is different my key or the secret is my secret and here it's secret so let's update this when you say my s e c r e t secret and if there is so this is currently invalid but by using this secret if you signed a key using the same secret and if you try to validate using this same yay this signature is valid like this is verified which means these tokens are not been tampered so uh, i'll finish this video here this was the simple process i just explained you the hs2 6 uh, 256 uh, how you can validate the same key thing the different uh, uh, key wherein the key which you used to sign 
is not the same as what you would validate so there are two keys i'll explain the concept and in a following video i'll tell you about the details for that so let's try to understand that i have a jart and if i have the secret key this is my secret key is ms for example and these are my 10 services different services now if i keep on distributing the same key to everyone and one person leaks the key then what happened that anyone tampers the token he can issue the token and sign the same key so it, it becomes risky because i have uh, so and please excuse me forgive my handwriting i have different services right this is a service this is another service so the main secure way is that I have a private key which I do not distribute and I have a key ID here. So whenever the JAT comes in, I would sign using the private key. And when someone has to validate it, I'll only give them the public key. So what they would do is this key and this key is different. So once I sign the key, when they would use the public key, which is anyway public information, they will use it and then they can validate it. So the validation also becomes easy. In a follow-up video, I'm going to do a practical demo and will show you everything about the asynchronous um, uh, 256 algorithm. How does it work using the OAuth2 flow and the OAuth0 school, fine? I hope you find this informative for any security or identity related videos. Please follow me. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you later.